Okay, it is time now to head back to the classroom for the ABCs and 123s of skincare. Breaking down how different vitamins you see in skincare products may benefit your skin and how to use them. And joining us is board certified dermatologist Dr. Rita Linkner with products that are all shoppable. It's great to see you. Thank you for having me. I am a product junkie. I love products, but you do need to change them up in the summertime. Yes, it's going to be 90 degrees here in New York City today. Transitional weather means you really need to change out products protect your skin, brighten your skin this time of year. But there are a lot of products and they come with a lot of letters in front of yes. them. And we're gonna go through the letters and then also get to sort of how you layer them. So let's yes. start with A. A, so vitamin A, retinol, um, comes in two flavors, retinol versus retinoid. People get a little confused. Retinol is over the counter, retinoid is prescription strength. You need your dermatologist to write you for that one. A big mistake I see with retinol, people are using too much of it. It can mm. really dry your skin out. Yeah. You have to use sunscreen with it every single day as well. But this nighttime product by Rock is amazing because they actually self-dose. So it's the a little bead for, you. Yes, for each time. Yes, it's a bead you break open. It'll give you the right pearl-sized amount, so you know exactly how much to put on your. You're skin not overdoing night. it, You're and you said at night. It. Yes. Okay. Retinol's a nighttime product. You got that right. We're going to the B. B. Vitamin B. B3 specifically. You'll label read this one as niacinamide. Mm -hmm. um, this product by The Ordinary. You're going to want to use a full dropper's worth, ideally in the morning. It's a serum. Also an amazingly great product to use. And it's moisturizing? Moisturizing as opposed to vitamin A that makes you more sensitive. Vitamin B is really reparative. It's a precursor to NAD, which is an enzyme that helps your cell skin cells function. Great anti-aging product. Locks in the moisture. Yep. Okay, this one is our C. Vitamin C, L-ascorbic acid is what you're gonna see on the back of the label. Vitamin C really helps you prevent skin burns. So it's a great product to use with your sunscreen in the morning. Um, it's a brightening agent. It prevents melanin from depositing in the skin. Again, morning time, it's a great thing to use with sunscreen. And you say under the sunscreen or over the sunscreen? I like combining it so it's oh, into one okay. real cohesive layer. That's yes. smart. Okay, now we're talking one, two, threes. What are we doing here? All right, so a big mistake I see people using too, too many products mm, yeah. and not knowing the order to do their products in. So always start with a clean slate. A scrub is great to use in the summertime once or twice a week. Ideally, you're looking for a physical product that's a little gritty, that's gonna help you exfoliate dead skin cells, and then has some nice chemicals in it to brighten your skin as and well. And are we using this in the morning or at night? I, either time, I like using in the shower. So, so it works either shower. way, okay, yes. great. Now, number two. Eye cream, so eyelid mm. skin is the thinnest on a woman's body. It needs its own dedicated product, ideally twice a day. Okay. It's gonna be a barrier, it's gonna protect your skin from all the other ingredients you're putting on your face. Blander is better. This Aven product's fantastic. Doesn't have that many actives, but very nourishing and moisturizing. So when you say blander, that's like, don't don't put too much in the eye cream. Don't put too many active ingredients because allergic reactions, we see that notoriously mm. with eye cream. And you really just want the moisturized there. You got it. Okay, and then sunscreen. sunscreen. Every dermatologist will always say, are you wearing your sunscreen? 365 days a year, but especially this time of year, La Roche-Posay makes unbelievable products. Their sunscreens, they're tinted, non-tinted, um, are fantastic. Ooh, sorry. About that. <laughs> you want to make sure that for some of these products to activate them, you're shaking them properly before oh, you're sure. doing, and about 15 minutes before you head into the sun. Ideally. And how much are we reapplying that during the day? Every two hours. Every two yes. hours. So you're actually putting it back on. It's not just the first time. Exactly. Of the if you're in sustained sunlight at the beach, at the pool, every two hours. All right, Dr. Lichtner, thank you so much. Thank for you so much, us. Rebecca. That was great. It's all shoppable.